Hi friends, if you are an architect or an engineer or any professional attached with construction or real estate industry or even a common man or housewife, then it is for sure that you are facing water leakage, seepage, dam, crack in structure related issues in your building, project or property. It's sure because probably there are very few buildings where there is no issue pertaining to dam, water seepage, water leakage, etc. And we are facing it repeatedly in every of our building, project and property. So this problem is pervasive in nature and we have to face it again and again throughout our life as well as in our professional career. Now the next hurdle is whenever you will go for a waterproofing solution, the challenge will come whether it would be cementitious type with or without acrylic polymer, SBR or modified cementitious type, single or two components or we should go for APP or EPDM type of waterproofing. There are SBS, PVC, HDP membrane type waterproofing as well which could be unbonded, fully bonded and compartmentalized. Nowadays we can get crystalline type waterproofing along with PU or polyurea type as well. So many, so forth. And the alarming fact is that being the specialized subject matter, even very few consultants can understand where to use what waterproofing system and the probable pros and cons of it. Otherwise, as you have seen, even after spending huge, the problem will still remain as it is. But the good news is your wait is over. Smart Engineers has done detailed research on it and the same is being presented here for your knowledge and use. Hence, to get hugely benefited you can't afford to miss this informative video anymore. Stay tuned and watch till end and unlock the hidden potentiality. It is an effective compilation of useful knowledge as available, blended with practical exposures and experiences earned. To make it a complete and foolproof solution of waterproofing for your building, project or property. Hello friends, this is Abhijit Datta, BTEC, PGDBA from IIT Kharagpur, Fellow and Chartered Engineer from the Institute of Engineers India, Registered Valuer of IBBI that is Insolvency and Bankruptcy Board of India, IGBC AP that is Accredited Professional of the Indian Green Building Council, EAC that is Impernal Structural Engineer and LBS that is Licensed Building Surveyor from KMC Kolkata. You are watching our YouTube channel Smart Engineers. As you know, in Smart Engineers, our motto is to discuss about the subject matter which are not covered adequately in our college course curriculum but there is a huge demand or requirement in practical or professional field or in industry. Let's try to bridge this huge gap between the academia and industry and develop our country. Before we proceed further, request you all to subscribe our this informative channel and press bell icon for immediate all future notification and updation. Friends, 
if you haven't watched our earlier two career advancement videos that is how to earn igbc ap certification in next two weeks that too in first attempt and how to become ibbi registered valuer and earn huge please watch them and get hugely benefited also check out our practical research work on pre stress concrete and epdm coding you will get the links in description below a full proof solution for building waterproofing a smart engineering approach our disclaimer now the contents of this interesting presentation you can see that we have tried to capture almost everything to provide you a complete knowledge on this subject matter and please note as per standard presentation protocol we are not going to read out all the things that will be shown in the presentation slides for your reference you can pause the video and study in detail in your future opportunity preambles waterproofing is basically a process designed to prevent water from penetrating into a structure typically waterproofing is done in various layers and stages to create multiple barriers so that water cannot penetrate the structure thus penetration from weather seepages from ground and vertical travel of water in a structure can be well protected by the correct application of waterproofing system modern waterproofing systems deal with sustainable architecture by a dual course of action on its application to the source waterproofing systems can also be stated as structural protection and rehabilitation or renewable engineer because of its multi action ability and importance therefore a waterproofing system is technically applicable not only to the building envelope as a whole but also on the specific parts of a structure as you know of late most of the buildings designed for a service life of 50 years or more hence needless to mention any lack of water tightness severely reduces the long term durability of a building this leads to expensive structural repair works damage or loss of interior finishes and goods operational downtime or serious impact on the internal environment from damp and condensation the selection of the appropriate waterproofing methods the project specific design of the chosen waterproofing system and its correct execution on site are key elements in minimizing the total cost of ownership a waterproofing system typically amounts to less than 1% of the total core construction cost yet the selection of a high quality waterproofing solution can easily save this amount or more in future maintenance and repair costs over the service life of the structure waterproofing and property value as we all know waterproofing increases our house or project or property value which is the biggest advantage but the interesting fact is even after knowing all these probably there are very few buildings where there is no issue pertaining to damp water seepage water leakages etc 
Now the question is, where to do waterproofing in a building? And as we can see, there are many places in a building that requires appropriate waterproofing treatment. We can name few of them as you can see in this slide. Now the interesting fact is, as the required considerations are different, all these areas are required separate type of waterproofing treatment. Can you throw some light on that? Factors affecting a building. Every building can be referred as a living thing as it also addresses the problems of deterioration if proper care is not taken and maintenance is not involved. In this way, some natural factors like air, water, climate, wind and humidity govern the life of any building apart from the occupancy load. Water through humidity and rains is the prime source of degrading or harming a structure right from its foundation to its plaster if the structure is not well protected from heat. Water through various sources and in any form harms the structure. It happens in the form of the following seepages, capillary rise, upthrust action and buoyancy. Avoiding these problems can never be a good idea for a designer as it would destroy and deteriorate the design, be it an interior or the exterior. Therefore, waterproofing as a process, precaution and cure is taken to overcome these problems subjected to specific areas and required materials. It is the restriction of water from entering into a structure through formation of various layers around the structure. Now let's discuss about a very common confusion area that is the difference between water resistant and waterproof material. As you can see, water resistant and waterproof refer to the amount of water that is prevented from entering or exiting an item. Despite having the same purpose, these terms are different and should not be used synonymously. The main difference between water resistant and waterproof is that water resistance products can withstand wet weather but cannot withstand being totally submerged in water, which waterproof products can. Now, next important thing is that for level of protection for which a product resists the entry of water, it varies and you know there is an IP rating system pertaining to that which varies from level 0 and level 8 for waterproofing related works. Now, the important concept is what is the owner's project requirements. To define the appropriate waterproofing strategy and type of system for a specific project, it is important to consider not only the ground condition but also the project requirements of the owner consisting of functionality and future use, the service life and the total cost of ownership. This is important. Now let's see the degree of water tightness required part to various grades. Please review in detail. Now the second important consideration is 
the service life or durability as you can see in this infographics the graph that the various options where no waterproofing low grade waterproofing medium and high grade waterproofing is involved what is the service life or durability of a structure now it is the infographic chart showing the total cost of ownership vis-a-vis -vis the various kinds of waterproofing grades you can see that cost of ownership reduces if you use the high grade of waterproofing and the interesting thing is that in this total cost of ownership that is comprising the initial investment repair maintenance cost cost for loss or damages interior finishing and goods cost for operational downtime all are considered in this chart now let's understand the concept and strategy of various kinds of waterproofing generally there are three number one integral waterproofing system a waterproofing system integrated into the concrete structure typical products are admixtures for watertight concrete combined with appropriate joint sealing systems for connection construction and movement joints next it is external waterproofing system a waterproofing barrier applied on the external surfaces that are exposed to groundwater that is positive side The final one is internally applied waterproofing system. Here, a waterproofing barrier is applied on the internal surfaces of the structure that is called negative side. Needless to mention, it is always preferable to have waterproofing from the positive side itself. Internally applied waterproofing system is only recommended for refurbishment works in example where access to the direct exposed surface is not possible now you can refer this interesting infographics where various kinds of waterproofing solutions vis-a-vis -vis exposure or aggressive condition and durability and reliability are positioned in this graph in this slide durability or reliability and also the exposure and aggressive conditions are described in detail with various options now let's understand what are the factors affect waterproofing decision the important factors are environmental impact, internal or external location, exposure to sun or UV rays, level of underground water, water pressure or water leakages, probability of structural settlement, exposure to vibration or dynamic load, grade of concrete, use of admixtures, or fiber or crystalline in concrete plan for construction and expansion joints type of system that is positive negative or integral type waterproofing we are going to use waterproofing processes the overall process of waterproofing can be divided into four mutually dependent parts Number one, waterproofing of required areas of structures. Number two, making the construction joints leak proof. Number three, making the expansion joints watertight. And number four, increasing waterproofing attributes in concrete. Nowadays, 
most of the waterproofing systems provide full range of technologies and systems for waterproofing also most of the available waterproofing compounds are second generation or first generation concrete admixtures which reduce the water demand and lead to lesser porosity now let's have a time travel and understand the evolution of various kinds of waterproofing systems earlier it was lime terracing brick bed cover type or kota stone type waterproofing then box concept or watertight concrete cementitious type with or without acrylic polymer sbr very much in use nowadays bituminous coating bituminous membrane pmc or polymer modified cementitious type of waterproofing single or two components app or epdm type of waterproofing sbs membrane fully bonded or unbonded hdp membrane crystalline type waterproofing pu or polyurea type waterproofing and with advancement of technology nowadays nanotechnology also playing a important role in waterproofing industry now we will go through few commonly used waterproofing system number 1 it is cementitious waterproofing then it is bituminous coating type of waterproofing bituminous membrane is also there modified bitumen that is elastomeric sbs and plastomer app are very much in use nowadays liquid waterproofing membrane hdp membrane type waterproofing which can be unbonded fully bonded or compartmentalized few options available for unbonded membrane type waterproofing with their pros and cons fully bonded system with its various benefits few options of fully bonded membrane a brief about fully bonded system now few more advantages of fully bonded membrane system waterproofing next it is pu that is polyurethane or polyurea types of waterproofing new technology that is crystalline type waterproofing efficiency of crystalline waterproofing is depend on the amount of pores and micro cracks in mother concrete actually crystalline waterproofing works in pore blocking mechanism major advantages the conventional concrete matrix has an inherent property of micro cracks pores and capillary tracks through which water enters into the concrete when crystalline compound is applied on the concrete it gradually dry out even on facing high hydrostatic pressure please take a look how this works water 
passes through the capillary tracts in concrete. The tracts have a width of 0.1 to 4 mm. Once crystalline product applied in the concrete, the chemical reaction follows these void and cracks to be filled into its sizable crystals. Water is unable to pass through these crystals formations. The concrete becomes waterproof. The ability of crystalline product to penetrate deep inside the concrete structure even if applied on the negative side and against high hydrostatic pressure is a result of a complex chemical reaction involving triparticle reactions and Brownian movements. The crystalline formation ensures the result of this reaction prevents water to moving through but still allows air to pass, thus avoiding vapor pressure to build up inside the concrete. Should new crack develops through other line in the concrete, crystalline crystals will appear to this crack as well, preventing water to get through the new way. Few disadvantages that crystalline type waterproofing does not work well in exposed sunlighted area and area where free lime is not available in concrete. Now the latest technology that is nanotechnology also in waterproofing industry. Nanotechnology works in applied waterproofing as treated substrates now ripple water in liquid state but simultaneously allowing water in a gaseous state to move in and out. This creates a waterproof layer that is breathable at the same time. Nanoparticles are very durable as they are highly UV resistant and water resistant even under stresses of extreme temperature fluctuations. Few benefits of nanotechnology type of waterproofing you can go through. Common applications where we can use not only in concrete but also wood, marble and other surfaces as well. Needless to mention, apart from above, there are other types of waterproofing systems as well, specific to the required application area. Sometimes hybrid type, that is combination of above, also in use. We can refer that fire and domestic water tanks, generally food grade epoxy type waterproofing is desirable. For STP, special type of waterproofing treatment is recommended. And in terrace, sometimes we are using solar reflective paint or membrane or treatment also of approved SRI along with the existing waterproofing system. Now, a fascinating fact for you. Do you know that the ancient Romans used a type of lime water that has been found to be self-filling. Now the same technology is available in our concrete as well. Self-healing concrete is characterized as the capability of concrete to fix its cracks on its own autogenously or autonomously. It is not only seals the crack but also partially or entirely recovers the mechanical properties 
of the structural element. This kind of concrete is also known as self-repairing concrete. Further, concrete can be modified to build in autonomous self-healing techniques. The capsule-based self-healing, the vascular self-healing and the microbiological self-healing are the most common types of autonomous self-healing techniques. So that day is not far that when concrete will take care about itself, pertain to its cracks, defects, etc. And no special type of waterproofing treatment would be required for protect it from the environment. Let's have a small video on crack healing taken from Penetron website to understand this self-healing attributes of concrete. Now, the most important task that is selection of right waterproofing system for the right case and needless to mention, it's not easy. As mentioned above, selection of appropriate waterproofing system depends on natural factors affecting the project, property or structure, type of structure and its design functions, cost of ownership, probable or existing root cause of damage, availability of various systems or options. Hence, it's clear that the treatment is case specific and varies from project to project, ask an expert. But the alarming fact is lots of so-called Experts are roaming around with their standard solutions. Beware of them. Ask an expert. Also, post-diagnosis don't go with any brand name for waterproofing but with material characteristic. Check suitability, bonding to concrete, elongation, pale adhesion to concrete. Resistance to hydrostatic head, tensile strain, puncture resistant, crack bridging capacity, etc. Remember, bitterness of poor quality remains longer after sweetness of low price has faded from memory. Hence, consider wisely. Let's have a zero leakage policy. First line of defense. As mentioned earlier, waterproofing is basically a process designed to prevent water from penetrating into a structure. Typically, starting from design stage to construction and handover, waterproofing is done in various layers and stages to create multiple barriers so that water cannot penetrate the structure. A combination of such stages is referred to as creating a building envelope. Modern waterproofing systems deal with sustainable architecture by a dual course of action on its application to the source. Now let's discuss few of these important considerations. As mentioned, 
please go through each and every point in detail for your easy understanding we have made a separate video on this first line of defense also we have another video about the construction joint where and how we should provide please refer that for your further use and reference Now, the second line of defense. Once again, request to go through in detail and also refer our particular video made on construction joint and first line of defense. Here we have mentioned that use of various bonding agent considering the age of old concrete. Expansion joint treatment, various options. Treatment to various services pipes or sleeves. Now, the SOPs or standard operating procedures of waterproofing works please go through in detail tools of the trade few important tools of the trade of waterproofing works are enumerated here. Quality workmanship and assurance. Needless to mention, this specialized job shall be executed with experienced competent contractors with regular technical checks and supervision. A quality assurance certificate with a 10 year that is tripartite agreement on stamp paper as per the approved format shall be provided by the applicator as well as the parent manufacturing company whose chemicals are being used. Process of waterproofing towards green building. Typically, building waterproofing system is done by creating multiple barriers for stopping the inflow of water so that it cannot enter the structure. This development of multiple layers by the materials and techniques in it creates an envelope 
kind of structure around the building. This envelope can be treated as a sustainable feature or a green building measure by avoiding the inflow of excess heat from atmosphere. The minimum difference between the indoor and outdoor temperature of a building causes less signs of weathering and safeguards the structure. Reduces the load on the HVAC system and other processes that a building occupant tends to use for making the room temperature habitable. Prior to selection of required waterproofing system, please ensure that the required materials are Green Pro certified by IGBC. Hope you found this video very informative and useful. We are confident that if you refer this video in your use in detail, then you will get confidence to have zero leakage policy in your building project or property. Further, if you wish to have any suggestion, consultancy or support from us, please keep in touch. Hope you will find this informative video very useful. And further, if you wish to implement the same in your building or project or property and organization and add or earn values, may contact us for further supports. Once again, request you all to subscribe our this informative channel and press bell icon for immediate all future updation and notification. Also share with your friends and contacts you feel will be of their use because sharing is caring. Thank you all. Hope to see you in next video. Namaskar.